All right, here's a quick addendum to the Mole Airlines problem that's going to help you with some of these, and I'm going to use a completely different problem to show you how to do it. Notice I start you in grams, so you don't have to use your percentages. The very first thing you're going to do, and this is all stuff you know, is 27 grams of aluminum is one mole. 27 came from the periodic table. Grams are gone. Grams to mole is one mole. That's 32. And so I'm literally just going to do the math that we've always done. 77.9 divided by 27 is 2.885 moles. And 139 divided by 32 is 4.343. 4.343 moles. So I divide by the smallest, 2.885, 2.885. So that's a 1, so there's your ratio right there. 4.343 divided by 2.885 is 1.5. Okay, now you saw that in one of the other videos. So the answer is not. AL1 and S to the 1.5. It can't be that. So to solve that, we know that 0.5 is a half. So quick discussion. If I have a fraction of a half, how do I get rid of a half? Well, if I multiply by 2, it's gone. If I had a third, I would multiply by 3 to make it gone. If I had 2 thirds, I would still multiply by a 3 to make it gone. Or if I had 1 quarter, if I multiply by 4. Each of these get rid of the fraction. Okay, so in this case, since it's a half, I multiply both by 2. My answer would be 2 and 3, and so my formula would be AL2S3, and there's my answer. Okay, that's easy to do. But let's pretend for a minute that I don't get those numbers. And so let's say I got a 1 here and a 2.67. Okay, making up the math, 1 and 2.67, do I just round that up? No. It's going to be one of these fractions. So I'm going to give you a little bit of help. Make sure you write this down and it'll make your life a little easier. If you end up, you've divided by the smallest. If you end up with a 0.5, you're going to multiply everything by 2. If you get a 0.3 or a 0.33, you're going to multiply everything by 3 because that's the decimal for a third. 0.67 or 0.6 is the same as 2 thirds, so you would multiply by 3. Or if you get 0.25, you're going to multiply by 4. Okay, so this right here is your little key to help you. So if I got worked all the math and I got a 1 and a 2.67, the 0.67 means I'm going to multiply by 3 and I'm going to multiply by 3. And so I get a 3 here. And then if I had a 2.67 times 3, you'll see my number jumps to an 8. Okay, and the reason I show you that is when you go to work these problems and you have these bigger numbers, let me grab that worksheet. Okay, the Mole Airlines. This is how you're going to get some of these big numbers that are 18s and 21s and 14s and, and these 44s is because you're going to come out with fractions that are decimals and these decimals that match this little key that I just gave you. When you end up multiplying everything out, that's why you end up getting those big numbers and that will help you a lot. Okay, so remember in Mole Airlines, the very first thing is identify all compounds. Got to do that first. Victim 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After you've identified all the compounds, and remember, on the back of the paper are all the options. So when you use it, use it once. So mark it off the list. You can't use it again. In the second one, you're going to identify the victims of the plane crash. And those are going to be from the list, the flight plan list. So you have to get all the compounds before you can figure it out. Now, helpful hint, reminder on this side, when you figure out what the compound is, it tells you where it was located. In this first one, that unknown compound was in their blood and in their luggage. This one down here was in a briefcase. This was in their pockets. So that will give you a hint. So you're going to match the people to each of the victims. And then you have to figure out who was murdered in this murder mystery and who the murderer was. Okay, so there's a little bit of controversy when it comes to murder every time. So at the very end, you should tell me this person was murdered, and it was murdered by this person, and justify in a couple of sentences why you think it is them. So that should make your assignment a lot easier.